Hello and welcome to Tallulah Gash. I thought it was about time I uploaded a new video about my dream incubation experiment. That is a seven day dream incubation experiment that I've been writing about extensively on my blog. I don't do my results on my video just because um, my dream interpretation and analysis is quite long so it's better to see that in the written form. But I do like to make videos um, throughout the um, experiment just to give you a snapshot of what's been going on and to give you the highlights. Now if you've been reading my blog, which I'll link in the description box below, you'll know two things about my dream incubation experiment. The first one is that it was unsuccessful for the first seven days. My dream incubation experiment was a seven day Marilyn Monroe dream experiment and my aim was to have a dream in which I was a starlet in Hollywood during the 1950s and I got to meet Marilyn Monroe and then I would become lucid in the dream and then I would ask the Marilyn character in my dream something about myself. So you'll be aware if you've been reading my results on my blog that I was completely um, unsuccessful at directly dreaming about Marilyn Monroe and I also didn't experience any periods of lucidity during the first seven days of the experiment. The second thing that you'll be aware of is that I have extended my experiment for a further seven days, had a little break in between and then I started my experiment again using the same aims and objectives of meeting Marilyn while I'm a starlet in Hollywood and asking her something about myself when I'm lucid in the dream. Um, I will be uploading onto my blog, I'll be posting the results um, of the first couple of days of the dream experimentation um, just so that you can see um, what's been going on so far. I can tell you in this video that I've so far still been unsuccessful at incubating a Marilyn Monroe dream or becoming um, lucid in the dream which is unfortunate but as you'll see when you read my dream interpretations and analysis of the dreams that I did have which I recalled really well and experienced very vividly, um, perhaps much more vivid than my usual dreams, that I did get quite a lot of useful interpretation from them and they were actually quite interesting when I looked at them in slightly more depth. So I analysed the manifest and the latent content of my dreams in line with Freudian psychoanalysis and dream interpretation. But I also looked at um, classic or traditional or mythological um, symbolism and how these dream symbols have been interpreted by a number of different cultures and um, disciplines. So it's quite interesting reading even if you were hoping that I would be successful nobody would hope more than me but I'm not going to be put off by the fact that I haven't had any um, firm results because I found it really really interesting to try and train my mind um, on having a particular dream and then actually see what dream content I um, get and what symbols I get and how that relates how that relates to um, sort of my perceptions of what um, I was hoping to dream about so my perceptions of Marilyn and my perceptions of Hollywood fame and fortune and the kind of lifestyle that Marilyn had and what kind of themes were coming up in my own dreams. So starting on um, Thursday evening I started the dream incubation experiment again for a further seven days. I'll just let you know what kind of methodology I'm using. So the first one that I'm doing is reality checks and I use this standard reality check. Um, what I do is every time I'm either boiling a kettle or leaving my house or using the bathroom or just taking a minute to think about what I want to do next in my day, I'll perform a reality check and I'll make sure that I'm consciously aware that I'm not dreaming as I perform the hand gesture and take note of my environment and the fact that I'm conscious and then I also remind myself that in a dream situation if I perform the reality check I should be aware that I become lucid, I should be aware that I'm dreaming and then become lucid. So I've been doing my reality checks a number of times throughout the day. I'd say between 10 and 20 times depending on um, 
you know when I remember to do it and also what my schedule is for that particular day if I'm in a meeting all day um, a legal meeting it wouldn't be appropriate for me to be doing um, a number of reality checks in an obvious way because um, my lawyer and police and other colleagues would be completely baffled as to what I'm doing and it wouldn't be appropriate for me to explain that I was trying to um, enhance my ability to lucid dream when I'm in these kind of meetings so between 10 and 20 depending on what my schedule is for the particular day what else um, I also use mnemonic techniques so that's mnemonic induction of lucid dreaming and that's using memory um, training techniques to enhance your ability to become lucid what I do is before I go to bed at night I not only meditate on the fact that I want to incubate my particular dream um, the Marilyn Monroe dream but I also use the mild technique to um, tell myself that I will become lucid in my dream and to um, also just remind myself of what I need to do when I become lucid which is stay calm stabilize the dream try and control the dream and of course recoil it when I wake up so I've also um, been doing a little bit of um, a lucid dream incubation or induction practice which I haven't written about yet on my blog because I've been doing that over the last um, couple of um, days that I've been doing the second wave of this particular experiment and that's um, eating lucid dream or dream boosting enhancing foods and because I love eating cheese uh, it's one of my absolute favorite foods and cheese contains vitamin B6 and is rich in tryptophan I thought that would be a perfect nighttime snack before I go to bed to see what kind of effect that has on my dreaming so I haven't been taking any lucid dream supplements or enhancers but I have been using um, tryptophan and vitamin B6 rich foods to potentially boost my dreaming ability um, and like I say that is usually cheese also some grains and um, other things like that so mild technique lucid dream um, reality checks and lucid dream boosting foods throughout the day I've also been focusing my mind on um, trying to dream about Marilyn so whenever I um, I'm just walking along or doing something mundane I'll think to myself tonight I'm going to dream about Marilyn and whenever I've had a chance to immerse myself in some Marilyn related um, either film documentary book pictures on the internet or anything like that I've been trying to take in as much as I can um, I have a whole um, shelf of Marilyn books so I've been looking through those on a daily basis just to try and um, incorporate her image and information about her into my conscious mind into my um, short-term memory to see if that influences my dream content so as I said I've so far been um, quite unsuccessful in having a Marilyn related dream what I have noticed is that almost every single dream that I've had during this period of experimentation has involved motherhood of some kind or parenthood of some kind which is quite interesting because Marilyn was um, somebody who had no contact with her actual father her biological father didn't know who he was and had had mixed information as to who her biological father was and had also been um, sort of abandoned when her mum had to go into a mental institution when she was very young ended up in a number of um, quite inappropriate and hostile foster homes and also in um, the Los Angeles orphanage Marilyn also struggled throughout her life to have a baby she had a number of abortions and a number of miscarriages and had to have a lot of gynecological um, surgery to try and increase her chance of having a baby but unfortunately um, either as a result of a medical condition or 
the um, large number of um, illegal or poorly performed abortions she had, she was unable to ever become a mother during her lifetime, which was a source of um, pain and depression and anxiety for her. So it's quite unusual for me to have um, a dream theme which occurs every single day without fail in a variety of different dreams where the narrative plot and the dream characters are often quite different. Something else that I've noticed um, is that I've had three full dreams during this dream incubation experiment which all involve France or the French language. Um, I can speak a tiny amount of French from my um, high school GCSE French um, and I know a few culinary terms in French because I'm interested in cooking and um, the culinary arts. So I know a little tiny bit of French but I'm not a French speaker and I find it quite interesting that France has come up so many times in my most recent dreams particularly the ones where I've been trying to incubate a dream about Marilyn. So I hope to analyse that particular aspect of my dreams a little bit further. Um, that's all I really wanted to talk about with you in this video today. As I said before at the top of this video, I urge you to read my blog posts on this particular topic. And as I said before, they'll be linked in the description box below. If you'd like to get in touch with me, um, you can use all of my social media accounts which I'll also put in the description box and in the comments section or you can just use the comments section to talk to me. Um, a number of people have added me on Facebook, my Tallulah Lagash Facebook page. All you have to do is like that page and then you can talk to me on the wall. Um, I communicate with all people that make contact with me so please um, like my Facebook page. You can tweet me, email me, um, or comment on my blog and I've had a number of people doing that more and more recently so I'm really really grateful to you all for continuing to support my um, dream research and analysis and also my writing career generally and thank you ever so much for watching this video please like this video and subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you next time either on another Tallulah Lagash YouTube video or just contacting me on one of the methods that I've let you know about in this video and that you can find below um, with all the links. So see you again soon.